Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for another video. In this video today, what I want to talk about when you take your do rag off and you look at your waves in the mirror and you don't see the progress that you expect or the way that the late effect that you expect, I'm gonna show you what's what I typically do to help my waves look a little bit better. It's easy to believe that every time you take your do rag off, once you find your perfect method or whatever the case is, that every single time you take it off, every single time your waves gonna be looking right. But with my kind of texture, with the medium texture that I have, I would be a liar if I told you every single time I took my do-rag off, my waves look the best. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when I take my do-rag off, it look overcurled. Sometimes it look like I got gaps in my waves. There's been cases where I sleep real rough, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get a lot of sleep during the week, so on the weekends, tossing and turning all throughout the night. And then when I wake up, take my do-rag off, my waves don't be looking the way I want, the way I plan. Other cases is just simply whenever I go work out. So you go to the gym, you work out, you sweat a little bit. Before you take your do-rag off, you wait till your hair dry. Or even when you take it off, your hair looks a little bit crazy. This is something that may happen more to me. Uh, medium texture waivers, you know, so I'm basically gonna go over what I do to help my waves look a little bit better, fresh out of the rag, just because at the end of the day, you don't wanna walk out the door thinking that your waves are looking real nice under your do-rag. You get to work, take your do-rag off before you go in, and you walking around with spots in your head, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all stay tuned, it's about to be a good video, it's about to be a real short video, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna take my mirror, I'm gonna show y'all what my waves are looking like. This is straight out the rag, I haven't touched it or anything like that. As you can kinda see, I probably got like some hair sticking up right here with medium texture waivers that's one thing course how waivers should not complain about you know what i'm saying of course that waiver usually like as long as they did everything that they supposed to their waves will come out looking right but as a medium texture waiver what i've realized is that sometimes if i put too much water in my hair it over curls sometimes if i put too much product it over curls sometimes if i don't put my do-rag on right it over curls sometimes even if i put my do-rag on right and i sleep crazy all night it over curls so you get the picture, it overcurls or it just shifts out of place, you know what I'm saying? So let's take a look. This is how my waves look, you know what I'm saying? They, you see those little spots, like the Dalmatians, you know what I'm saying? Like I got like little nicks all over my head. You don't want to go out in public like this. All right, so how I typically fix that is I simply take a soft brush. Today I'm gonna be using a Torino Pro 0655. Now, the reason why I don't have my do-rag on is a lot of times people tend to go straight into brushing their hair right after they take the do-rag off, but you don't wanna do that because if your hair is already laid, even though it's kind of shifted out of place, you wanna let your hair decompress because if you don't, you're basically over-styling your waves. They're already laid, but you're trying to brush them so your waves may overlap, whatever. You don't wanna do that, you know? So typically, the best thing that I do is I wait five minutes to brush my hair with a soft brush. I usually take it off in the morning just to check to see how it look. If it looks good, I'll rag back up. And then when I get to work, I'll take my do-rag off right then and there because I want my waves to stay as late as possible. But, but, but if it doesn't look as good, this is the method I typically do to help my waves get a little bit more into place. So when I go to work, I can rag up again. And then when I arrive, I don't walk around looking like a Dalmatian. So my hair is already decompressed. So all you do is just simply take a soft brush and as you can see even though this is a softy it has pulled so when I brush my hair what it does is it helps keep my hair laid that's a good thing because of the simple fact that if you use a medium brush a medium brush will most likely disturb your pattern kind of create some frizz just because it's like getting deep into your, your roots and everything like that but a soft brush simply goes over the top layer this is beneficial this brush right here is the most slept on softy if you don't have it, I encourage you to check it out on Brush King's website. I'll probably drop the link in the description below. But yeah, so I just simply brush my hair like that, man. That's the method. I'm not gonna keep it too, too long. I'm not gonna go and try to finish all the spots. Once you get your waves looking the way that you want them to, you may not be able to fix everything like I mentioned. Sometimes you may have a, a spot in your head because of the way you're brushing or whatever the case is. It's not because of how you slept. But after that, I'll just get my do-rag and put my do-rag on. Now, one thing I never mentioned before, this is a tip just to help you guys out. When it comes to waking up in the morning, time is essential for me to get ready to go up to work. So I don't, I don't like to waste time. I try to find ways to speed up the process so what I typically do is I keep my do-rags tied. Once I find that snug feeling, I try to keep them knotted up just because of the simple fact that it helps speed the process up of putting your do-rag on. So I'm gonna rag up for you guys and show y'all what it is. Boom! 
that quick, it's that simple. I can just simply pull down from here, like I mentioned, pull down the back and then open the flaps and I'm good to go to work. Now, you wanna be able to do this when you have at least 15 minutes left before you have to unrag because I try to at least keep my do-rag on for 15 minutes just to get my hair to compress a lot more before I head right in. You know, my computer's about, tw my, computer, my commute to work is about 20 minutes, you know, so that gives me more than enough time to be able to have a do-rag on. But yeah, this is just a simple method to help you guys out if you ever have the, those issues. I know a lot of people really don't talk about it, you know, but as a medium texture waiver, man, I hair doesn't always corroborate the way that we want it to. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate y'all for checking out this video. I appreciate everybody that kind of told me where they were from. We had people from Oklahoma. We had people from Arkansas, people from Texas, people from Jersey, Brick City. We had people all the way, just from all over. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all commenting below and let me know. I even had a dude from New York. Pretty sure they're gonna have more people comment. But if I skip your city, uh, forgive me. But it's your boy, J. Lou. I'm about to sign out. Hope y'all have a good day. Salute.